Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with yet another book haul because I went to the thrift store and we can't control ourselves when we're there so we bought five more books. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have, I'm actually so surprised that was even there because right now when I'm filming it's February 2019. Y'all probably won't see this till like 2021 knowing me. But I found a book that just got released in January 2019 and I like squealed but it is Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Checker Borty. I'm sorry, I can't say that author's name. But this is the second book to her Dave Abad trilogy. The first book was The City of Brass. This is Kingdom of Copper. The second book, third book, I don't know when it's getting released, but not yet. But I found this and I was like, what? crazy because it just got released so I'm excited for it I have City of Brass have I read it no because I found it like a couple days ago at the thrift store so now we have the second book and we can binge it the next book I bought was because I recognized the title I think a lot of people read it and really liked it so I was like mm, let us buy it but it is The Shadow of the Wind this is by Carlos Ruz Zafon and honestly I don't know that much about it other than other booktubers read it and liked it. I know that it takes place in Barcelona in 1945 and this man reads a book called The Shadow of the Wind and it's by a man named Julian Carax and so he decides that he wants to read all of this author's books but then when he goes out looking for more of this author's work he finds out that people have been destroying his work and that he might have the last book published by this author in existence and it's like him trying to like protect it and all that jazz. Apparently it's got murder in it so you know I'm excited about it. But yeah, I bought it solely because other people have talked about it before. The next book I got, another one because a lot of people read it, really enjoyed it, but it is Ruta Sepeti's Salt to the Sea. It's a historical fiction. It's set in 1945 and it's like people trying to escape from the Soviet advance and it follows four people whose paths converge while they're trying to escape. I don't know, a lot of people have read it, said it was really good, so we're gonna give it a chance and hopefully we like it too. The next book I've got kind of as a joke because Dylan the Reader 5 hates this book with a passion and I saw it and I was like, <laughs> I want to read that just so I can like make fun of Dylan. But it's The Cellar by Natasha Preston. The concept sounds really intriguing but apparently it's executed really poorly but it follows this girl named Summer who gets kidnapped by a man and held in a cellar with three three other girls and it's like that story. I'm guessing they're gonna try to escape. I don't know but Dylan hates this book so I needed it. And then the final book I have is probably the one that is more up my alley out of all of these but it's The Names of Dead Girls and this is by Eric Rickstad and it follows a girl named Rachel whose parents were murdered a couple years back so her uncle takes her in and then she starts getting these like threatening messages from a serial killer who she thinks is the one who killed her mom and dad all those years ago. Then the uncle starts getting messages and he apparently has been hiding things about her parents murders from Rachel and it's like the story of that and he's also a detective. Alright guys so that was my little book haul for today. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!